Milwaukee, Wisconsin, bowling capital of the world. It's the TV58 bowling game, where bowlers and bowling buddies compete for cash and prizes. With your hosts, Lee Rothman and Tom Cole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice little crowd with us tonight. Tom, it's Monday night, October 12th. Columbus Day. We salute good old Chris who came over on the Santa Maria, the Nina, you and the know. Pinta. Yeah. You were with him. <laughs> Weren't you with him? I was second oarsman. Yeah, uh, I was with him. Yeah. yeah, you were. Uh, that was 500 years ago. This the, is the 500th anniversary of Mr. Columbus. All right. How, if, tell if me what, were, it was, what was he really like? If I were that old, what would my Social Security be now? My number. Probably one or two. <laughs> no. You're really starting off well tonight. And I'll tell you why we're going to have a good time. Because I've seen the averages of these two teams tonight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. One guy's got a 285 average. Did he bowl with Columbus too? No, but he had three games when he oh, got that average okay, there. Yeah. And we have a lot of others that uh, are going to show you some amazing things tonight. So stick around if you can do it. I will, Lee. And I, I want to tell you off, right off uh, the beginning here in the top 16... 381 is still high, Pro World Hot Shots, and Wixen are tied down to the bottom at 303, but we still have about six weeks to go before we start a tournament. Uh, Dave's, uh, our, our first team tonight, they, uh, our second team tonight, actually finished in first place in the summer tournament, and the team that I'll introduce finished in eighth place during the summer tournament here at Red Carpet Regency. Uh, they bowl at Blue Mound Bowl, and they are called the Sons of Torque. Sons of Torque, give them a hand. Come on, audience. And team number two tonight, Boy, they, they are loaded for bear, I'll tell you. They bowl at Dave's Lanes, and they are known as Dave's Lanes Nightmares right there. And our score marker is Sandy Lauterbach, who's back again tonight. Sandy was with us Thursday night and Friday night, and now on this Monday night, you like it here. I have a good time doing this. It's a lot of fun to see all the people bowling. Well, you know, we've said every night, jokingly, you can't believe the number of strikes. Tonight, I'm going to say that, and I mean it. You're going to see a lot of strikes tonight. Okay, a lot of X's tonight, guys. All right, get over there, get okay. set to go as we bring out the first bowler of the night, and a big welcome to Steve Osterberg. <laughs> Come on over, Steven. Big O, huh? You bet. They call him O. 210 average, three 300 games, a 792. And he won the Willow Creek team tournament in 1990, picked up one fifth of $10,000. You have anything left? That's about it. Nothing left of the 10, of the I gotta keep something uh, available for over here, you know. Oh, I see, okay. And you uh, are also quite good at golf, I hear. What's your handicap? Oh, my seven iron. I can't really hit that real well, so that's my handicap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Patrick Byrne is your bowling buddy in West Dallas. Get your ball, get set to go, and here is a very famous name, Mr. John Ritker, ladies and gentlemen, of the Ritker family, who is the uh, owner or co-owner of Dave's Lanes. Correct. Along with your brother? My nephew, John. Your nephew, John. Jeff. Jeff. Okay, you, you got about 3,000 Ritkers. Uh, there's a fair amount out in our area. All right, now your credits are fair, 220 average. That's just so-so, right? Well, yeah, I guess you could call it that. I guess. <laughs> you've had a 300. You've had an 858. But see, there again, not a 900. <laughs> no, I fell a little short, I guess. <laughs> Try harder, would yeah. you please? Yes, All right, Rosemary Smith, obviously a phony name, is your bowling buddy out in Sussex. Probably your wife, right? No, no, <laughs> not tonight. All right, going over there. <laughs> and let's go bowling. Here we go. Well, I'll tell you what. You want to see strikes, and I, the potential is here to have a very large quantity of strikes tonight. I've seen this gentleman bowl a number of times right here. Steve Osterberg, and he definitely knows how to strike. Got a little light on that one, but he'll find it. Steve's been on our show before, done very well in the past. And so, actually, John Ricker's been on the show, too. Done very well. You know, Lee, you mentioned that uh, John has a 220 average. I would hope so. He owns a bowling alley. Come on. Yeah, but you know what you've told me. Those guys are busy all the time. They don't I have know. time to bowl. I'm teasing, Lee. I'm teasing. I know. What they do have is a time to grow up in a bowling center, which helps. They right. learn the fundamentals quite early. Yeah, they grow up around the game. Right. Become a part of it. Oh, boy. A beautiful hit. <laughs> He planned that one. He planned it. Steve, anybody want to say hello to tonight? Sure, I'd say it on my mom my, my and dad and uh, Jerry Jesser, my fishing buddy. 
That's about it. How long <laughs> since you've been here? Um, I think I was last year, April. All right. We have a pair of spares for Steve and for John. And I'm the one that went on the limb and said to Sandy, our score marker, boy, are you going to have strikes tonight. So we started off with a couple of spares. But do you have any idea what's our high for the year? I mean, yeah, for this strike total, I think this season is, I think it's been 22 or 23. There's one. It won't take these guys long uh, to get rolling. We give them one ball only for practice on each lane. We don't give them a complete frame. No, I, I made the same comment as you were walking over. I said that I think we're going to see a lot of strikes. The potential is high for a large quantity of strikes, and I think we're going to see them. They're going to come. Oh, boy, we're going to see it now. The only thing we know for sure is that neither one of them is going to have a perfect game on this particular match. I figure that well, out. Well, how about a 110? How about a couple of 110 games like Well, it wouldn't be enough. We have a 119 <laughs> high for the men. Brian Brazil. 119. And he's in this category of bowlers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no oh. luck. No luck for Steve. John, you want to say hello to anybody? Yeah, my parents. It's good to have them still around. My dad's in getting up to 80, and my mother's 79, so they'll well, be watching the show. Kind of good about that. We're good all to say hello. Group. <laughs> That's nice to be uh, his age and have parents that are still going, yeah, well. 80 and 79. And well, my dad's still kicking around, isn't he? Oh, you betcha. You're, you're... Sam, Sam is incredible. Well, well there's the first double of the night. And a secret frame winner. John Ritker with a double and a secret frame, which is going to make him very happy to be receiving a couple of prizes. I think you've just won a bowling alley. Would that interest you at all? <laughs> wow, well, one's enough right now. Come on, all. There you go. Good shot. And another secret frame winner. Well, Tommy's going for a Dutch 80. I think that carries with it one of those famous T-shirts. Yeah, I think we can, like, we can outfit him with one of the, the TV 58 shirts. That's better. from Mexico, I think. Yeah, uh, in fact, but they're not cheaply, uh, at least in pesos. It was like, I think, 5,558 pesos. Wow. What is it in our money, Tommy? Well, the last check I made on the exchange rate with pesos to dollars was, uh, the shirt's 98 cents. <laughs> uh, yeah. But he'll enjoy it. Nothing I mean, is too good for our bowlers. It's the thought that counts. Tom, they're both asking what it looks like to get into the top 16. Now, what would you say would be good to make it positive? 400? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think 400 might be a real good score to have. And I'll tell you what, Steve they're starts gonna them out. They're going to have 400. Steve, if, if every bowler on the team does exactly what Steve did, they will have a 400. Steve, what did you have last time? Do you remember on the show? Um, you had some big scores. In the I was 110. 110. Yeah. Now, there's an example of what we're talking about tonight. They made the tournament lead, so we had a chance to bowl them the time. <laughs> Yeah, three bagger for John. Oh, is he tough? He is tough. Going for five in a row. And don't forget, he still can't beat what's high right now. Brian Brazo's 119. But if these guys continue like this right down the line, they'll be back. John Ritker's bowling for Rosemary Smith. Well, hi. Steve Osterberg is bowling for Patrick Byrne. And the next two bowlers will be Larry Schapansky opposing Tony Kreiser. Possible 98 for John Ritker, and he'll win by 18 pins with a spear. Well, people ask us, you know, to have good bowlers, fair bowlers, poor bowlers, every kind of bowler, and you're seeing tonight some of the very best. We'll be back. Where can you get a delicious junior bacon cheeseburger with two full strips of bacon? <laughs> What an audience, ladies and gentlemen, and they love it. 18-bin win for the Nightmares, 98 to 80. Steve, there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, last time, as you mentioned, you had a, a 110, but you did time it beautifully. That is your secret frame, and you're going to receive over here a delightful prize. And, Tom, that number is 20. 20. 20, Lee, is going to be the free oil change courtesy of Civic Minded Incorporated at 6005 West Howard Avenue. And you're going to also receive something from the Barrel Fund. Help yourself. You're going to love it. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, John Ritker with a 98. Uh, I can't find anything wrong with that. I really can't. 
this was not it. That was it. So you're going to get a prize for the double, a prize for the triple, and a prize for your secret frame. Three cards he gets to pull out of here. I think one of them is a new bowling alley, I think. A new card! <laughs> I wish. 14, 14. Number 14, Lee, is the 10 movie video rentals from Gaulish Pharmacy, five locations. That'll take care of a weekend, right? 10 movies? Prize <laughs> number 16. <laughs> 16 is the Grand Prix AM FM Walkman Radio Ooh. from All Star TV. All Star TV at 43rd and Bradley and 76th and Howard. That also goes to the bowling buddy. He also selected number three. Number three is going to be two tickets to a Milwaukee Wave indoor soccer game. Good. At Bradley Dubai. Center. Thank you very much. Go on over there and help yourself. 4-7-10 or 6-7-10. Tom, if those are made, what's the prize? Well, Lee, I hate to talk snow here, but, you know, we, that's a reality in Wisconsin. 4-6-7-10 if it's made, 16-inch Toro snow thrower. Compliments of Gilo Lawn and Garden Equipment, where over 40 years of service follow the sale. 6-6-43 North Tetonia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Schapansky. <laughs> Larry is, uh, is single, I think... Uh, for the moment, at least, right? Uh, for, yes, for the moment, in quite a while, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. At Red Carpet Waukesha and Burnham Bowl, yes. 225 average <laughs> and a 222 average, six 300s, four 800s with a high of 831. <laughs> Nothing exciting here. Uh, at Red Carpet Valero, 223. At Blue Mound Bowl, 220. You ever go home? <laughs> uh, Monday nights, I stay <laughs> All right, Audrey Kuntz is your bowling buddy in Milwaukee. You are something. All right, go on over there, and we'll see what happens as you meet Tony Kreuser. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand. 190 average. Now, normally, I'd say that's tremendous, but you're up against a real tough guy. Yeah, this whole team looks like they're pretty tough. The only thing that I can tell you is in a four-frame match, anything can happen to anybody. You know, it's not like uh, 12 frames here. Yeah, I realize Fortune. that. You know that. Hope for the best. That's all you can do. And there's nothing wrong with the 299 either. Francis Schreindel is your bowling buddy in Milwaukee. Ready? Definitely. Let's go bowling. Match two. Yeah, match number two. 98 to 80 after the first two bowlers. I'd say that's a pretty good start. We've had a total of uh, five strikes. Whoa, that ball. Yeah, he was praying for it to hook. He was at hook. But he got rid of the washout, which is good news. And a seven count for Larry. Yeah, ball stayed outside. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how he picks up the one three six spear. I'm sure he'll do it very easily. Larry Shapansky with uh, four nights of bowling, and each one the average is sensational. There's a whoa! Oh, oh my goodness! And Lee, that is our five. first open tonight. See what first I was one. explaining to Tony Kreiser, even though he's got a low average for these guys, one ninety. Anything can happen when you're bowling four frames. This sure. is secret frame time for both of them, apparently. Yeah. Secret frame right there. Take one. You Way bet. to go, Tony. Who do you want to say hi to, Brooklyn? Tony? I'd like to say hi to my son, Derek. Uh, How old? And he's four years old. Great. And uh, the butter chuckers at work. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what is a butter chucker? Uh, we unload boxcars of 70-pound blocks of butter by hand, put them on pallets, and put them on the back of a semi-truck. Wow, there's a job for you. He's a butter chucker. Nice shot for Larry. Larry, you finally found the spot there. It was a little Whew. dangerous in that first one. Oh, it's definitely a little dry, though. Yeah. And don't forget... Uh, by the time we get through with this show, though, it'll be drier yet. <laughs> We've been here quite a while today. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hi to anybody? Uh, just my mom and dad at home and just all my friends at Bowling Alley. That's about it. How did you do in that Willow Creek Classic? Did you make some money? You won a uh, one thousand a piece, yeah. Yours all gone, too? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not with it, but where is the Willow Creek Classic? Boy, you got me. Willow Lanes? No, I don't think it was <laughs> I don't here. Know. I don't know. Then I'm not so dumb after all. But they're all winners on the Willow Creek, Creek Classic tournament, and I don't know where it was or where it is or whatever. 
Maybe you should ask them, Lee. How I don't. I know could that. do that. I Maybe could. You do should that. ask the people that were involved in it. Don't look at me. <laughs> now this will be interesting with this kind of a hook. See how he makes this pin. Now he takes a lot off the ball. Boy, he sure Picks did. up the speed, and that's how he does it. Here's Tony Kreuzer, K-R-E-U-S-E-R. -E this is interesting for Larry. His biggest bowling thrill was winning the Willow Creek Classic, but his hobbies are blondes, brunettes, and Bacardi. <laughs> blondes, brunettes, and Bacardi. That's the three Bs. The three Bs it used of his to be life, baseball yeah. and basketball and the bowling game. Bowling game. <laughs> Things have changed, Lee. Times have changed. Wow. Tony, uh, what kind of umpiring do you do? I umpire softball in Hartford uh, men's slow and pitch? women's. Yeah, slow pitch. It's a little tough to call some of those, isn't it? Some of them, you get a pitcher that throws 12 and a half feet on a 12-foot arch and he's there consistently, it's hard to... Or if you get two pitchers that keep the ball up, it's kind of hard to bring them down. You throw out a few people every now and then? I sent one guy home this year. Where did he send him? He sent him home. Possible 66 for Larry, and I'll tell you, this is way below what it should be for both these. But if Ted and Jim are going to make a name for themselves tonight, and I was told they're going to be tough, okay, it'll bring them right back. Lee, Tony can strike out for an 88 yet. Yeah, that would really help his team if Tony could get four in a row. Three more. There we go. 66 is it, and that's not what Larry wanted. Well, 146 after two bowlers, Lee, is a very nice start. Yes, it is. Uh, undoubtedly, Larry, this was not as exciting as the Willow Creek Classic. No, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe come back later and get more exciting. Oh, I'm Where sure you it? guys will be back. Where is it? Where's the Willow Creek that's Classic? That's in uh, Green Bay. At the Green Bay. Plains. Now we know. Now I know. I mean, I guess they have to get a team together. Like you and I went to. I mean, that was <laughs> yeah. in late Geneva. Yeah. Look out. All right. <laughs> he was flirting with the channel on that one. So he can win by a couple of pins. He can come up with a 68. Yeah, and win his team by would, two. And his team would be up by 20 if yep. he gets a strike here. Two mark lead with match three. Ted Weller opposing Jim Jeffords. It's a one. All right. I can tell you right now, this is a close match almost. It's two marks between the two teams, which is nothing. 67 66. Larry, you didn't mind uh, the loss, did you? Oh, no, not at all. Because as you explained it, <laughs> it's a team event, and uh, you said some of the other guys will certainly take care of that and you'll be back in our tournament fighting for the fifteen hundred dollars but this was your secret frame sorry to say nothing there nothing here you get a bowling game towel to remember us by and i'm sure you will <laughs> and over there the barrel of fun thank you very very much and here's the winner by one pin and tony averages meant nothing as you we said you have 190 and he has about a 275 average but you got your secret frame right there so reach into the magic bowling ball Pull out a number, and every number corresponds with Tom's list, which is seven this time. Number seven is a fun pack that includes four admissions to the clubhouse, valet parking, tip sheets, and you're going to Deerland Greyhound Racetrack. Yeah. Exit 158994 in Kenosha. You have to provide your own money. Outside of that, everything's taken care of. Your own betting. You're not no, no money. <laughs> no $100,000? No 100000 Go over there and get something out of the barrel of fun, though. There it is, 165, 146. We got a close one here tonight. Now, a 6-7 split, Tom. Have you ever made one of those? Yes, I have, actually. How'd it feel? It felt very good to make that, Lee, and I wish I would have made it on this show because I would have won a Crosley 25-inch color TV with remote and stereo, valued at almost 600 bucks, compliments of All-Star TV, two locations, 43rd and Bradley and 76th and Howard. At Burnham Bowl, this man has a 224 average. <laughs> His name is Ted Weller, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Weller. Uh, only four 300s, huh? Yeah, I got robbed a couple times. Yeah, that was this week, right? <laughs> 846 for a total there. 
And you are constantly getting your battery charged, free of charge. Well, don't less. tell them that. No, no, but I mean, you come out ready to go because he is in the battery shop as a battery repairman, Tom. Are you shocked? No. <laughs> I've never seen anybody so excited about this. Robin Kosnicki is your bowling buddy on West Beloit. Go ahead and get your ball, and here's your opponent. Another one with some great credits, Jimmy Jeffords. Jim, known as Tank. Yep. When were you on last, a few months ago? Yeah, we were on a few months ago. What did you have, remember? First game, I had 104, then I think I had a couple 70s. Well, that's not bad. Uh, you've had a 300, you've had a 765, and with credits like that and an average of 205, you'd still be the underdog in this match. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. They are not bad. You like fishing, boating, and golfing, and you're a welder. Yep. All right. Tank, you're bowling for Teresa Wisniewski of South 14th. You ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go bowling right here, right now. Ted and Jim, third match and a good one. Look at the scores already. I think we may see a brand new number one and number two team in the top 16 if we keep on this pace, 165 and 146. These fellows would be back for our tournament about six weeks away. We've got a tour of pace going here, actually. Not a lot of opens. We've had a total of... Uh, Nine strikes tonight. I was just going to say, as good as they are, and as good as the scores have been, I expected more strikes. I don't know. Well, nine strikes isn't bad after just four bowlers. No, but these are the creme de la creme. Wow. And they very rarely miss on a spare. I'll uh, just say, we have only had, uh, in fact, two opens all night <laughs> so far. And, of course, uh, a few weeks ago, we were all excited about Robin Yauna, and we both want to congratulate oh, Robin. What a guy. What a class he, uh, act. Got his 3,000th uh, hit, and he's doing a lot better than that now. But, uh, Tom, you didn't say anything to me. I'm going for my 3,000th open this week when I bowl. You know, Lee, it slipped my mind. You know, when, you, when you, you're up in your echelon, that, that high echelon of opens like you are, you know, you, you seem to you lose track. missed 2,999 spares. I this saw you week, do that I... one night, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you just... All right, here's the old railroad. Jim yeah. Jeffords going for it. He's old, oh, missed them both. Here's Ted Weller. <laughs> Jim, you want to say hi to friends and relatives? Just my parents and my kids. Uh, all the friends kids? I got here. I have two. Boy and a girl? No, two boys. Two One's uh, going to be five, and the other one's four. They bull? Not yet. <laughs> You know, people used to laugh when I said that, but now with bumper bowling, people bowl two, three, four years of age. Oh, sure they do. Absolutely. I'll tell you, that really has uh, changed the game of bowling for the little guys, for the Absolutely. little kids. Absolutely. And once they get the feeling of a uh, big score, you know, maybe a spare here and there at their ages, then they want to stay with it, and that's where the future bowlers are coming from. You know, it gets frustrating when you constantly throw the ball in the, in the channel. Well, absolutely, it well, is for me. Halfway, halfway down the lane, it's in the channel already, and they're barely rolling. So, yeah, it adds a, a new dimension to the game. But see, they won't let me use the bumpers. Well, yeah, I, 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 I think you can stand on your own two feet. Well, sometimes. <laughs> You've been known to do that. <laughs> Hang on. All right, good ball, good ball. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing two of the best. Tomorrow night, I don't know what we have. Tomorrow night, Lee, we're going to have on Pro Tell... Greg Steger and his crew coming on. A hey, good bowler. A real good bowler. Uh, Protel taking on... I've got a blank there. It just says Liz Conway. She must be the contact. I really don't know what the... There's an open there. Well, we'll find out. In fact, uh, it's supposed to be mixed teams, so... Maybe they're so mixed up they don't know what to <laughs> name themselves. <laughs> Jim is a uh, welder at Leo's Tool Welding. I said that nice and loud so you can get a raise. Okay. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Okay. Ted Weller. Ted, you got anybody you want to uh, say hello to? Relatives, friends? No, oh, my parents and my uncle are here. My aunt. You know what I noticed? Uh, I have not seen so many 300 rings in one room in my life. Ring. That's huh? an 800 ring. 800. I haven't seen so many 300 and 800 rings in one room in my life. I mean, one guy's got eight on, you know, on two hands. I mean, they're like, how can he bowl with all that weight on his hand? I mean. You want me to make a deal on one for you? Yeah, I'd like one. 
Someday, Lee. Ted, I'll uh, give you 10 bucks for your ring, that 800 ring, okay? Cash. What's more expensive, the 800 ring or the 300 ring? Uh, I think they're the, they're the same. It's just the gold. Oh. If you want to pay for the price of gold, it's like $300. You know, it's curious. It's really wonderful to see this kind of uh, bowling because yeah. you read about it, you hear about it. Look at that. And here's, a, here's another one. What are those rings? This one's 300. This one's 29. Wow. Wow. Let's go! No, a little bit light. It, that's amazing. The nice part is this one's free. That one's free? Yeah, this one costs $300. Oh. Which one was free? $299? Yeah. You get a free one for a 300 too, unless you want the gold one. Then you have to pay the gold but market. If right? you win the 299, when it's up to you, if you want it, you buy it. No, it's you get this one here. You have a choice between this one, which is the gold one, or the regular one. And I wanted the gold one because it was the first one I ever threw. But on the 299, when you pay? No, that one's free. That's free. Okay. Well, Lee, this ring right here is for my wife. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was free. <laughs> <laughs> and this one I've got is from Cracker Jacks. Thank you. And did you notice that these guys, and they're, and they're married, they're wearing their 300 rings and their 800 rings on their wedding band ring. I mean, that takes courage, finger. you know. <laughs> Why, where are their wedding rings? They're well, wedding wait till they get home. They'll have them on. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering that, you know, I couldn't do it. I have to wear that in this hand. That's better. No. So Ted has 65. Jim Jeffords, known as Tank, has a chance to beat him by one pin. 211. 211 total for Sons of Torque after three bowlers. Good pace. Fourth match, Scott Helm versus Mark Jeffords on this edition of the show for Tuesday, right? Yes, Monday, Monday, Monday the 12th Monday, of October, rather. sir. Yeah, Columbus Day. That is correct, sir, and we'll be back. Oh, no, 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 we won't be back. Yes, See? we will be back, but we won't be back until after we'll See, be back. See, this, this cruise that you took with Columbus 500 years ago started to take its toll on you. Yeah, well. You got a, still got seaweed on you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough voyage, I want to tell you. it was, yeah. But he brought a lot of pizzas along. That was fun. We Columbus left, uh, pizza? Yeah. Oh, boy, he loves it. That's right, Domino's was around. They didn't have uh, delivery back in those days. No, 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 you had to take them with you. Yeah. <laughs> you sold them to the Indians. All right, now we're going away. Oh, I looked at Oh, boy, 231 to 211. It's anybody's battle. You're seeing some top bowlers tonight. Some are finding it easy, and some are finding it a little difficult. But the point is, those scores indicate they'll both be back in our tournament. Larry, uh, sorry to say, or rather dead. Your secret frame, sorry to say, well, no, you're not sorry. That's the only strike you got, and that had to be the place we hit it so carefully, but you found it. All right, now reach in there, and this could be the biggest prize you've ever won in your entire life. Obviously, this is it, Tom. The biggest thing, 23. 23, He's Lee. never had a prize like this before. He's going to get uh, the Knight's Popcorn Pack. Comes with a variety of exciting flavors. Stop it and see the selection of Knight's Popcorn Companies. 4435 West Forest Home Avenue, Milwaukee. All right, Zay, I told you this would be your big night. Get something out of the barrel of fun. And Jim, you got yourself a strike too, but this is where you needed it, so you don't get anything but a bowling game towel as a souvenir. Tom, I don't know whether we mentioned Pro World or not. I don't know whether we can, can do it, but I think it'd be a good idea if you I, could possibly mention that. Marty Lemmerman and Dave Marks Place, you bet two locations, 79th in Greenfield and 60th in Fond du Lac. All right, head for the barrel of fun, my friend, and your team is still in the lead. Dave Lane's Nightmares, 231, Sons of Torque, 211. Tom, four tens. They come around to bug you every now and then, don't they? That's early. We almost had one made the other night. The prize would be a room of carpeting and is valued at 500 bucks. Compliments of Soref's Carpet City. Discount wholesale prices at 431 South 2nd in Milwaukee. Soref's. Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. I told you to get my chair out here at a time like this. How tall are you? 6'5". Oh, my. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Helm right here. He won the state singles, uh, 1990. Did you win some money? Oh, yeah. Would you rather win popcorn? Well, I'd, I'd take popcorn tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, air is a little thin up there, friends. Robert Lang is your bowling buddy in Milwaukee, and you work at 
Amundsen insulation, right? You're an insulator? Right on. Oh, right on. Right. All right. Go on over there, get your ball. He's bowling for Robert Lang, and here's a man bowling for Alice Manthe. This is Mark Jeffords, ladies and gentlemen. Give Mark a hand. Now, I want to lay it out to you so you're, you know exactly what's happening. You have a 207, which is nice. He has a 218. He beats me all the time at Petrov, so I'm used to it. <laughs> you both have had a 300. He's had an A25. You have had a 775. Would you call yourself the underdog? Easily. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Alice Matthews, your bowling buddy, you work at Huth yeah. Manufacturing. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Let's go bowling. Here is the match. This is our fourth match tonight, and uh, pretty close. Just two mark difference, 231, 211 now. That means that Dave's Lanes is... Uh, Got a fairly decent shot of making a, a big mark in the top 16, and Sons of Torch going to have to work just a little bit harder, but that's the way to do it, Scott. You throw a number of those, and your team will be right back up towards number one, number two position in the top 16. Good looking shot. And here's Mark. The thing that's so interesting, Tom, we got some great bowlers here, but they'd have to bowl their heads off in order to beat Brian Brazil. Well, they've got to roll a perfect game. Scott has to have five more to beat Brian Brazil. <laughs> Scott, you want to say hello to your relatives and friends? Sure, I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad and my wife, Shelly. Do you see how far he had to bend over to do that? Yes, way, way over. <laughs> way down here. It came all right. over, all right. Oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> what did he, he has one. He hopes that he was heard. <laughs> the one advantage, he can reach out and touch the pins. That's what's good about him. He's tall. <laughs> railroad, railroad. Well, I don't know. Scott, tell me what you just said so everybody can hear it. Oh, Scott there and his dad had 300s in the same night of bowling at Petrov. Oh, I remember they that. They both did. They both had I remember, I remember that. We talked about that last year on the show, I recall. In fact, that happened last year, didn't it, with the night you and your dad had right. 300s. That was last season. Right. You know, yeah. you're so shy. You don't tell me about those things, but everybody else is telling me about it. That's great. What a thrill that must have been. I do recall that, yes. ABC record. Boy, oh boy. You guys were inducted in the Bowling Game Hall of Fame for that. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, we did. We inducted them both. Did you get your check? <laughs> oh. Is it in the mail? <laughs> it's in the mail. Okay. It'll be coming soon. <laughs> you shouldn't start that rumor, my friend. <laughs> I can see all these beautiful rings, you know. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't have the power of the yeah. induction into the Bowling Game Hall of Fame. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, Scotty here is not wearing any rings at all. Well, Scott is now going for three in a row. Scott Helm, H-E-L-M, married for one year. He has a son, Shelly, and a dog named Dusty. He's up there right now. The man had a 300 the same night as his dad. That is wonderful. Bowling for Robert Lang and going for three in a row right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Tom, I can tell you this, without jinxing anybody, that he's got the line so well down now that he could possibly beat Brian he's, Brazil. He's halfway home, Lee. Halfway there. <laughs> and let's see what Mark can do now in the ninth frame. A couple of spares working for him. But Scott's really pulling uh, Sons of Torque ahead here. Come on. Scott, do you uh, bowl more than two nights a week? I bowl tournaments regularly on weekends, but just two nights a week. That's all my wife allows me to. I was going to say, I wonder what she has to say about all that away from home. I'm sure it'll be cut back next year again. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes the average. I, that happened to me. <laughs> yes, sir, right there. So we go to the 10th frame where Scott has a blue bagger leading him in to the important three strikes possible left for him. If he did it. And this is his secret frame. Come on, Scott. There it is. Secret frame and four in a row. Wow. Now he's going for five. Well, I will tell you right now, let's get this out of the air. We have one more set of Raven Irons to give away for five in a row. Once, if he gets the five, the Ravens, the Raven Irons are gone. From Raven Golf at 117th and North Avenue. Come on, Scotty. No. Tom, you should also explain to those who don't know about the perfect game. 
Well, we, we have one $1,000 shopping spree to give away to the bowler, whoever it is, high, male, or female, for a perfect game. If we have a tie, we have to wait till the end of the season to have a roll-off for that one prize. That shopping spree is for where? Airlines find diamonds and jewelry. Two yes, locations. Sir. 109, game Great 100. Score. 109. Beauty. That's and his team, team is at 320 now. Beautiful. Well, they beautiful. should be near or over 400. Oh, yeah. And well, if that happens, they'll be back in our tournament, and that'll really dress up that tournament. Their anchor bowler run just needs to roll an 80 game. There's a nice ball. 55, possible 85. To come with that 85, they'd be over 300. Right? Uh, with 85, oh, yeah. They're at, uh, they're like about 316 if he strikes out. Very close match, actually. Top, little well, high. Now through. he's got a little baby split. 75 high. And that 75 will still put him slightly over 300. And the last match, you won't want to miss this one. Ron Scheuker opposing Tim Hoffmeyer. Boy, I'll tell you, when you hear some of these averages and some of these credits. Cool. We're coming back. The Sons of Torque have taken the lead, 320 to 305, thanks to Scott's 109. And I had a hunch that you were going for the biggie, but uh, what happened? Got a little slow at the ball. I should have told you that. Speed it up a little, but you wouldn't listen to me. Uh, anyway, we got a few things for you, as you probably know. You have to have your secret frame up there somewhere, so I would say this would be a good spot for that. Tommy's going to get a prize for the double, the triple, and the four-bagger, and the secret frame. Talk to yourselves. He'll be up here a while. Number six. Number six is the case of Henry's salad dressing from Milwaukee's favorite and the world's favorite, Henry's. 21. 21 is the oil change from Frasco to Buick, 112th in Burley and in East Troy, Wisconsin. And number eight. Number eight is our party tray, our platter. Ten, uh, for ten, actually. Ten people. Ooh. Cheese, sausage, crackers, veggies, dip from Chef Pat's Catering. 3950 North Holton, the caterer to the stars for your next party. One more? Does he get yeah, another one? Yeah, four strikes in a row. Uh, he and his wife can go and enjoy and win their fortune. Two $25 tickets to Potawatomi Bingo, 1721 West Canal Street in Milwaukee. Fifty dollars worth of tickets to Potawatomi. If you come back a millionaire, remember I sent you. All right. Mark... 74 is not that bad, but you didn't get a strike. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, this is where you <laughs> needed it right there. So you get a bowling game towel. Your team is only down by 15, and you tell me Tim is sensational, right? He's a bowling god in Hartford. All right, at least he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> Go on over and help yourself to the barrel of fun. Tom, we have time to talk about a 5-7 or 5-10. That's a unique prize this year. Yeah, our friends over at uh, Good Life uh, Fishing have really come up with a great prize. A half day aboard the Good Life Fishing Charter for six people out on Lake Michigan. That's the Good Life Fishing Charter, and thank you. Remember that name when you're looking for it. Ladies and gentlemen, this match was made in heaven. You're going to love it. In the uh, corner to my left, weighing in at, never mind, Ron Scheuker, Ron Scheuker. He's known from coast to coast as Shoe Fly. That's right. That's what it says, anyway. <laughs> 220 plus average, 11 300 games. 824, five times? Five 800s. I, oh, that's it. Oh, sorry. Gotcha. Oh. And he works at Firestone, in case you want to find out anything about a flat tire. Yeah, come on down, I'll set you up. <laughs> and say, say hello to all the guys at work. Hi, Mel and Irv. I'm glad you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Lauer is your bowling buddy over on South 9th, 97th. Go on over there. Thanks. Yeah. And Tim Hoffmeyer right here. Tim, your credits aren't quite as good, but there's nothing wrong with a 210 average, a 300, and an 818. But you also 
have had back-to-back -back 300 games. Yeah, it was a long time ago, though. Was that a bigger thrill than being next to me here? Close. <laughs> <laughs> 218, 300 and 300. Oh, boy. And you've just uh, advanced to the second round of bowling with the champs. Yeah, I bowled pretty well once. When you get next to Hank, you might find that a thrill, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Irv Lockowitz Jr. is your bowling buddy in Oak Creek. Let's do it. Match five. Let's go bowling. All right, let's find out what's going to happen here. We're real close. Just a mark and a half separating the teams, and it's a reversal. Sons of Torque were down by, well, going into that last match, they were down by 20. And now they're up by 15. Well, Ron starts out on a positive note with a strike in the seventh frame. Let's see if Tim Hoffmeyer, they got to roll back-to-back 300s. And another and a 218 to go along with it for an 818 series. Well, let's see how he reacts to that. Ron, somebody knows you. I heard him screaming loud and clear. Come on, shoe fly. Who is that? It's probably my girlfriend. It's probably my girlfriend, Cindy. Oh, she's a big fan. I'll bet. I would assume that anybody that gets uh, into watching you bowl has a lot of thrills, just as you do, because uh, you make it look so simple. Well, thanks a lot. It's taken a lot of hard practice. You yeah, know, but I mean, long here time. you had one ball. You know, uh, I got away with one. <laughs> <laughs> An honest just... bowler right there. <laughs> All right, Tim's going to make this one to keep it close. His team is down by 15 pins. And you know, t you and I have talked about it. We've seen bowlers that you've indicated to me are your choices as bowlers of the century, and we've had teams on that are sensational. But some of these things I don't think a lot of people have ever done, back-to-back -back 300s. That's got to be a one-of-a-kind. Um, no I mean, kidding. for people that I know. <laughs> I, I don't know anybody that until Tim came along. <laughs> oh, he almost got away with another one. Tim, it's your turn to say hello to everybody in the world. I'll well, just all my friends and family back in Hartford and everyone at the Hartford Post Office, too. Is there any reason why Hartford is one of the hotbeds of bowling? Do people start there when they're two years old or something? Uh, not quite that young. But that but city is really something. Yeah, we, started, we had a good junior program. I think the Ritgers must have helped it a little bit, too. Yeah, absolutely. You are uh, getting by with a few things there tonight. I saw Yeah, you. a little bit, a little bit. We got a good team. We got a good team. Well, there's no doubt that both teams will be back, and it'll be fun if you play, see, face each other again in the big tournament. That'd be great. I'd love yeah. it. But when the pairing comes out, it, it depends on what position you're in. But uh, you could be bowling a team of ladies with a 120 average, uh, you know. Very possible. And they'd right. probably beat you, right? You're right. They probably will. <laughs> you know, we found that a lot of the medium bowlers, 130, 140 average bowlers, really have a lot more fun because they don't try as hard. They just get out there and throw the ball. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Remember how many of those bowlers really had big nights on our show? Oh, bowlers with 130, 140 average. You know, I would say better than 50% of the people that had lower scores did very well on our show. Absolutely. you got to remember, it's only four frames to the last four frames of a bowling game. And you could be the world's best bowler, but if you have one split, you're in That's trouble. Right, you're dead. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was a washout. You know, there's a perfect example. Now, he's a good bowler, Lee, and he has a real good chance of making this washout, but it just makes it difficult. <laughs> Boy, five eight hundreds, eleven three hundreds, a two twenty average plus. Yeah, how'd you like to carry those credentials around? I'd be I need a trailer. I, I was going to say I couldn't lift them. One two four ten spear. No, nope, you didn't do it. Well, Tom, the way it looks, we're not going to hit four hundred unless something big happens. Uh, even if something big happens, I'll tell you right now, Sons of Tor can't make it. The uh, best they can do is three ninety five. If Ron strikes out, and Dave's can't make it either. All right, there's a strike. Well, actually, I take it back. Dave's could make it just if he strikes out the rest of the way. He's got a 402, I think. Well, Ron, who's up there now, is bowling for Tom Lauer, L O W E R, South 97th and West Dallas. Tim Hoffmeyer is bowling for Irv Lockowitz, Jr., South White Oak, Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Right there. No? Oh, look at this. Now we have a boy, little split oh, boy, here. Oh, the, boy, oh, boy, Tom. The, uh, he not only has a rough spare. 257, possibly. He needs to make this if they want to become number one or number two in the top 16. Well, if he doesn't, uh, they'll be around 350. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Nice shot. That's the way to do it. Now it's 64. That would give him a 384 total. And uh, Tim, whose team is at 305 at the moment, you know, you're right, Tom. They could be yeah. one and two in the tournament. Uh, Dave's lanes can still, it depends on what Jim does in the, uh, or Tim does in the 10th. But the old evener is the four frames. That's what really sets back the really great bowlers. 63. And a 383, Lee. Right now, they are sitting number one, but Tim hasn't finished bowling yet. Shoefly, what was that big grunt of uh, happiness when it was over? Got some relief out of the system. <laughs> oh my, I didn't realize it was that serious. Oh no, I am nervous. I'm nervous. That's my child. Hawk, let, me oh. let me ask you something when he's standing right here. Now, how can anybody be nervous on a little old four frame match bowling show when you've bowled five eight hundreds, eleven three hundreds? Talk about the nerves and you know how your knees well, start knocking when you're in. You've got though. ten strikes in a row. You guys put too much pressure on me, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got three million here. people watching. Well, yeah, I think he's just pulling our legs. <laughs> well, there's a 57 possible 77. Yeah, and it's so, going to be, ooh, look at this. This could be a tie, could Well, it? no. The best he can do is 382. Yeah. Lose Are by you one kidding me? Yeah. If he gets a strike, they lose by one. And they'll be number one and number two in the top 16 if he strikes right here. 381. Wow. 381 is high right now. That is a match made in heaven. And that's why we like to invite you folks down to watch us. Red Carpet Regency every yep. Tuesday and Wednesday night. Oh, no. no. And we'll be back. Oh, the crowd loves it. Final score, 383 to 380. Sons of Torque win it by three. They're in uh, first place. And Dave's Lane's in third place, so they'll probably meet again in the tournament. And Ron, uh, nothing there. Your secret frame was here, so you didn't do that well. You got a bowling game towel. And, and by the way, you wanted to say thanks to... Uh... Yeah, I want to thank Dave Marks. He is our sponsor from Pro World on Tuesdays, and we want to thank him again for doing it. Well, he gave you a little souvenir bowling game towel. You'll have a few other things coming to you in a few minutes. <laughs> Go over to the barrel of fun. Tim, you beat him, but it just wasn't enough. But your team is in third place. Your secret frame, where was that little devil there? Must be over here, son of a gun. Nothing there for you. You get a bowling game towel, visit to the barrel and fun, and at least you know what's going to happen next time you come back. And you will be back. Yeah, so Thank be you back. very, very much. Tom, high prize and low prize. Well, tonight, uh, John was high with a 90, or check that, I'm sorry. Um, Scott was high with 109, and he's going to receive the Wendy's fish fry for two all-you-can-eats at participating Wendy's. And Ronnie goes low tonight with a 63. Ron receives the Golden Cream Puff Award from uh, Granddad's Bakery and Ice Cream in Hartford. And audience from the Red Carpet All-Stars, what else does he win? Bowling! And right now, it's good night, good luck, and good bowling, everybody! And thank you so very much. Good night. <laughs>